All right, all right, what is up everyone? Here we are, another beautiful day in paradise. For some reason it's like 47 degrees, it's claiming, but it's colder than it was when it was like 38 out, I guess because there's no sun. But we're off to get the last, that scrap that we couldn't get last night. Um, it just was too big and I didn't have anything to take it apart and it was at night. I didn't want the cops to come because they're brutal over there and I just don't want to deal with it. And we're going to just go get it now. But we're going to go get a cup of coffee at Wawa, obviously. And so I had on this session, this is a hero session that I'm using right now, this problem where I couldn't delete the footage. So I had like three or four days of footage on the card, but I just figured it out. All you got to do is download the app um, go into it and then like go into the settings and just hit delete all from SD and it allows you to format your card on your phone and then there's no no more videos on the camera it's a Wi-Fi connection so if anyone's trying to figure that out um, you can look it up it's on the GoPro website or you can ask me and I'll run you through it if people want to see that it's really simple. It's just about creating a password and a, a name for your GoPro and then connecting to your GoPro's Wi-Fi, not the Wi-Fi at your house. But the dream continues. We're out here living it. What's the claim? Need coffee. Coffee, coffee, coffee. <laughs> All right, this is the piece right here. I wish I could just get it out of here in one piece, but I don't know if that's possible. Um, I just don't see that as as happening unless I roll it. I don't know. Maybe I can. Let me see how crazy this looks in here. This thing's definitely heavy. Can you help me? Maybe slide the... All right, I'm gonna put this up as far as I can. Slide the Jericho under there and then push it out and put it in my truck from there. That's the plan. See if this will work. Like when I, when I pull it up, just slide it under, but straight. Oh, the glass is open. I don't have anything to do about the mess, though. Is there a broom? I don't think there's a broom. But, I mean, they have to clean up the sawdust. We got the fireplace, but we got this too for a little piece of the dream, an extra piece. So 
we used the Jericho dolly to get that fireplace piece to the curb and then I had the truck below the curb so it gave me like I don't know six to eight inches extra lower and then it was on top of the Jericho so that gave it another like four inches up so it was easy to just slide into the back of the truck a lot of work for one piece of scrap but once I get something in my head I kind of just want to do it so heavy dream what's the claim what do you want to do today situation so it's called Ann's Beauty Supply and it's in Atlantic City and I've been going here for like years getting my lashes because they sell lashes that you can't really you can't get in like CBS or Rite Aid or whatever. so why this over anywhere else because they're the best eyelashes they just make them like it's hard I don't know I'm a weirdo but they're like thin they just look the most natural I guess I don't know. I just like them. Do you ever follow this store on Instagram? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> hey, this is what you talk about. What's the difference? They're longer than lashes you can get from CVS. Uh, and like, if you look at like lashes like these with the lining it's like a thick lining these have a lining like that that sit better on your actual eyelashes because when I do my eyelashes I don't put it on my eyelid like I'm supposed to I put it right on my eyelash so it hangs and it looks more natural because when you curl it it kind of blends into your natural eyelash with those ones they just sit and they just look Crazy. No, we live right uh, in Summers Point. Okay. But there's like an art exhibit over by the Timberland factory that they set up, and mm -hmm. we wanted to check it out. Okay. You got any claims for the boys? <laughs> What's your main claim in life? Uh, to survive. <laughs> to be a survivor, you know? Um, I've been doing pretty good so far. I'm 70 years old, and you know, but nobody lives forever. You got to remember that one too. <laughs> yeah. After you're born, you know you're gonna die someday. I mean, isn't death what really gives your life meaning now? Yeah, and oh, and you got to be a like I'm a believer in. Jesus and God, uh, that uh, that really holds me together. In God? Yeah, yeah, my faith in God. You believe in uh, life after death then? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we're gonna go to the McDonald's and get this guy a sandwich, cause he asked for some change, but all I got is a card, so. What kind of sandwich are you yeah, thinking you about? Ask, well, I'll tell you what, the best deal they got, they got these two for three dollars. It's Two for uh, three cheese uh, cheeseburgers. Yeah, they got well, they got four different choices. You know, I usually get the like the double cheeseburger and the bacon cheeseburger. And like I said, it's the best deal they got. Two for three dollars. What's your name? Larry. Larry. Yeah. You live in AC? Yeah. Yeah, I live right down a couple blocks down, just down on George Avenue. What do you do with your time? Well, I do a lot of walking. Okay, I um. Okay, I, I, I live in a rooming house, okay? Yeah. Now, I'm, I'm not homeless, and fortunately, you know, I get Social Security, which pays my rent, and, but it runs out, you know? Like, I, like I asked you guys for a change for food, which is what I, you know, I'm trying to get something to eat. So all your money goes to your rent? 
most of it. And you know, I buy some groceries and stuff. And, uh, but yeah, basically, I don't get that much. I only, I, I only get a little over $800 a month. And 450 of it goes to rent. So, you know, that doesn't, that doesn't, that doesn't leave me too much left. Yeah. But I do the best I can. Like, I, I don't drink. I gave that up years ago. You know, I, I do some prescription drugs, but fortunately my Medicare covers that. So, you know, I don't have to take money out of my pocket. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just trying to survive, doing the best I can. If you, you had know, one, do... uh, one thing to say to my generation, one, one thing of advice, what would it be? Oh, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. Uh, one word of advice. Not a word, just one statement or one statement. What, what would you say, you know? Uh, I'd say find an idol and follow him. You know, pick out your own idol. Like everybody's got, you know, it could be a baseball star, a football star, a rock star, you know. But, uh, and, you know, follow him. And, you know, I, I look, look to your elders. You yeah, know? look to your elders. Yeah. Um, How old do you think your soul is? Oh gosh, that's a toughie. I have no idea. You don't know? Nah. I imagine it correlates with the, the age of your body. I imagine. I don't know. I would imagine much older. Yeah, I would say my soul is older than most people's souls that I meet, mm -hmm. I would claim. Because people get caught up thinking that this is who you are, Yeah. but that's not who you are. Yeah, you know, it's just your vessel to experience this reality. Yeah, that gives you something, that gives you something to think about, you know? Yeah. Heavy crew I, I, out I, here. I not think about it that way. See what I mean? And, you know, like, there's things I can learn from you guys. No? Yeah. Like, I don't know everything. If I if I knew all the answers, uh, I probably wouldn't be here talking to you guys right now, you know? Yeah. Um, so, you know, like I said, I don't know. Rundown of what you got here? I believe I have a double cheeseburger, a bacon cheeseburger, a small strawberry milkshake, a small Coke, and two apple pies, and whatever you order for her. <laughs> you got it all, boys. Double, double cheeseburger, I think you order for her. All right, so you're hooked up for the day, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. All right, we're going to peace out of here. So. Okay, man. Thanks Have a, a good one, dude. Thank you. Yeah. Blow it up. You got to blow it up. That'll work. <laughs> I'm old-fashioned. Peace out, dude. Okay. Have a good one. So the AC Arts Commission, or whatever it is, Foundation, did a pop-up art show for the month in one of these stores, and I've been meaning to check it out because my friend has some art in it, and he was posting about it, uh, the blockheads. So we're going to go check it out, and hopefully it's pretty cool. I can see it doesn't look like what I thought it would look like, but it is what it is. I guess this is it right here. The AC Arts Foundation. Is it not open? Saturday and Sunday only. It looks pretty sick though. No, I definitely wanted to check that out. Yes. <laughs> pound of shrimp. He'd never be able to eat all that. Dude, he ate like half a pound yesterday. 
Do you want to put um, it on a rotisserie thing that spins so you can eat it off of there as it's spinning? And then, like, we can glaze it with, like, a paintbrush as it's going. That's crazy. I would probably be scared of it if we did that. Would you do it, though? Yeah, but you'd be scared. All right. All right, we're going on a little bike ride here to go grab a spray paint. So you can say, is this still there? No, he's not. Yes, he is. And Arla is just at Todd's Pond right now trying to catch the fish over here. Lolo, you can't do that. Lolo, you can't do that. He's going to try and eat the fish, dude. He's so adorable, though. Dude, he's just drinking the water, dude. <laughs> dude, there's... <Hello? laughs> big. He's old. He couldn't catch one of those fish, fish if he tried. You're going to make some artwork. Um... Probably like 15 of the same, 12 to 15 of the same pieces um, that I want to make some available for people to buy and also make a couple Christmas gifts. So I'm just going to explain the situation right now. We have these three pieces of wood. We're going to cut them so Sammy J can know what I'm talking about too, but I didn't want to explain it twice. So we'll cut these, like measure how big it is and see how much we want to divide them. Mm -hmm. So probably like four, right? Cut them all. And then I'm going to cut them and hand them to you. And then I want you to just quickly sand, like sand it so it's smooth, mm -hmm. so it's easier to paint. Is that cool? Yeah. And then we'll paint all of them tonight and then... When we come back tomorrow, we want to put this stencil on them. And this is like the government issued heroin, but a stencil of the pill bottle. So it's a three layer stencil orange, white, and then black on top. So this, this, and then the black. And then we're going to take this trim that I have, which is outside actually, and cut it and make borders for it so it's like a little piece of trim around the border of it so you guys will see the final product when it's done but we are about to commence on this project and do the first step at least tonight sleep I just wanted to show you guys that we got 12 2 4 6 8 10 12 of these and they're gonna be original pieces of art that me and Sammy are making together so two of them are gonna be Christmas presents and the rest 10 I think I'm gonna put up for sale uh, if you guys are interested in, in purchasing them I should have them up uh, 
when they're finished in the next like couple days or so after this video comes out so they're gonna be pretty awesome I'm not really sure the price that I'm gonna put on them but they're gonna be original pieces like one of a kind because you're not gonna be able to remake it exactly the same ever it's gonna have its unique one of twelve one of one really but we got the low low luster here and he's looking real cute right now are you alright? he's been sitting in his bed for I would say at least eight hours pretty much all day but um he's living the dream he was fishing a little bit earlier trying to but the guy who owns the pond we actually talked to and he said that there's been other cats that went fishing in that pond before and no one has ever caught a fish so I don't think low low stir with no nails is going to be the first but he might be but we're here we're just watching some stuff we're about ready to go to sleep and yeah another day in paradise another gift so I just wanted to do a quick outro video so it doesn't just cut out and that's it but um yeah can't wait to get the art up and see if people actually want to buy it because I can start making uh me and Sammy can start making some custom art too like one of a kind epic pieces too if people are interested so let us know in the comments you know if you'd be interested in something or or not I mean either way but um yeah please let us know what kind of videos you want to see too because we pretty much just go off of what we're going to do for the day like whatever we film everything so if there's something specific you guys want to see us do or you think it's possible or a cool place to check out or anything like that just let us know because we'll be more than interested in exploring anything really but um yeah I'll see you guys in the morning for some more claims but the dream continues, boys. You. What's the claim, Sammy J? Good night or good morning. And? You. What? You heard me. <laughs> you. All right, peace, everyone. Have a great rest of your day or night for the dream.